to think of myself as a forward thinker. I feel it's important to channel your energy and to figure out how to best apply it to the successful choices that will get you to the future. But it's also important, I don't need to tell this to hedge fund people, to take risks. <laughs> President John F. Kennedy asked NASA and their ranks of engineers, rocket scientists, Werner von Braun, what was possible? They told him, it's going to take 15 years to get to the moon. Instead of accepting what was possible on May 25th, 1961, just three weeks after Alan Shepard's flight, President Kennedy boldly challenged America to commit to the goal of landing a man on the moon before the end of the decade. We'd not even put a man in orbit. The rockets and spacecraft needed to go beyond Earth orbit didn't exist. Many thought the challenge was impossible. We didn't have the know-how. But we did have a leader. We had the vision, the determination, and the courage, confidence, that we could get there. I recently learned at the MIT 100th anniversary of their Aero Astro Department that Kennedy originally told his engineers to figure out how to get to Mars. But after a weekend of intense calculation, <laughs> they told him that uh, Mars was a little too hard at that time. <laughs> but the moon could be possible. Now, can you imagine having only a weekend to figure that out? In my first space flight, the pilot of Gemini 12, with Jim Lovell, I was able to set a record of five and a half hours spacewalking, circling the globe down there, spacecraft there, at a speed of 17,000 miles an hour. Me and the spacecraft, fortunately, <laughs> we, we go together. What a sight to behold the Earth not through a window, but through a visor. While we're outside the capsule, and now this, as noted by my mission director, happened to be in contrast to these cats, one of whom spoke to you yesterday. This is the first selfie in space. <laughs> 